Hi guys, welcome back to Abjada. So in this one, I'm going to talk about server-side rendering in SwellKit. So uh, server-side rendering is nothing but uh, your pages being pre-rendered in the server, uh, so that when you when you access it, the page is uh, ready and you get it. Uh, the HTML of the page is ready and you get it right away in, in the browser. So the initial loading will be faster and also it is uh, good for SEO. So since uh, any robot crawling your site will get to access the HTML right away so it's, it's good for SEO uh, these days the crawlers or robots are smart enough they can uh, even even if it is a client-side rendered page they can render it and read the contents in it and they can index it as well uh, but SSR has a slight edge and it's it's better in case uh, you have a lot of interactions, user interactions, and you're not really, uh, uh, you, you, you uh, basically you're building a web app and not really targeting uh, SEO much, then uh, it's better to go for client-side rendered website. So I have two examples uh, here. One is uh, SwellKit and there is one more which is called SPaper. So SPaper is a CSS framework, you can call it. The components look like, you know, they are uh, hand-drawn. So you can use these. If, if I look at the source code of this, uh, we have uh, nothing, right? Just the body tag and there is not a single uh, HTML tag inside the body tag. This is probably built on Svelte, uh, Svelte.js, not SvelteKit. And uh, this, is, this is totally fine because uh, the website is fast and they're probably not targeting uh, you know SEO and the site works pretty well now if I look at if you look at SwellKit and if I uh, view the source uh, you will see that it has all the content uh, that's been uh, you know rendered here here as well now this is built on SwellKit and this has uh, SSR uh, a working SSR so this page um, is already built and whatever you see there uh, is there in here as well in the source code now I'm gonna explain uh, how we can utilize this and how to um, how we can make a CSR or SSR in SwellKit now let's get into it I have a empty folder here npm init swelled at next uh, I want it want it to be installed in this folder so I have a dot at the end now the files are there I'll install dependencies npmi or npm install now once that is done I will open this in uh, VS code Uh, now I will serve this as well Dev. Okay, so it seems like it is serving so let me go to localhost 3000 so it shows this page uh, If I look at the source I Should see these two tags because this HTML is already written here In here, so this is all fine now imagine if I am uh, getting uh, the data from an API and then I'm showing it there, then there can be a, a difference. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I will have a script tag here. I will have a function which is get post. And uh, what it does is it, it uh, gets a post. Action equals fetch. Uh, I'll fetch it from we have this typey code uh, maybe one of these posts let's get this this is a uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you have heard about it this is um, typey code which, ha which is a JSON which uh, most of the developers use I'm gonna await this then it should be an asynchronous function now const uh, let me do single post or something equals await 
result res dot json and I'll return single post okay. all right now before this I'll uh, uh, initialize a variable post and then uh, I'll do get post I'll run this and uh, dot then here I'll get the returned value and then I'll assign post uh, with this value whatever it is returned which is usually a single post and then I can also console log this uh, post and that should give me the post that we uh, got back uh, I think it's there let me refresh yeah this is the one so initially it was undefined uh, because it was you know it was here and then once the asynchronous function completed I got the post right so I'll use this here I'll remove this uh, for now I will make a okay so I'll have a h1 where this is a post dot title and then I'll have a paragraph tag which is post dot body now this may not work because initially you know it's not present uh, because you now it is undefined I can do something like an empty object or something and then uh, it should work yeah now initially it was empty and there was nothing and then it started showing up I can also have an if condition here which which also works great I don't need the console log now now uh, here when I refresh uh, this shows up but if I look at the source uh, I don't have anything I have undefined right so which is not very useful uh, if I have like you know instead of this uh, if I have something like if condition here if post then show it uh, in that case you know I will not see anything at all uh, I will see the post here without any errors but in this case here uh, I don't have anything here right now if I want this to be server-side rendered I have to use something called context module which we already discussed in uh, our previous videos where it runs before even you know uh, the script runs module I'll just move this um, to the load function so we'll create a load function here export const load and we know that we need fetch here we also know that it's an asynchronous function we'll do that and then here we'll have it um, I can actually make it post because while returning uh, we return props and then we can just pass post now here instead of let post I can do export let post as if it's coming from there can remove all this and I can also remove if post but let it be there uh, for now I'm guessing this is all fine let me go here let's see if it works here yeah, it is working here let me see if uh, SSR is working yes so if you look at this so this is server-side rendered HTML uh, only if uh, the data is Know, loaded before even you know rendering the page then only it works so if you put something here uh, in the load function then this will be the page will be um, pre-rendered in the uh, sort kit now uh, if I don't want this to happen uh, there is an option that I can use where I can do export const as false I don't know why someone would use this but uh, you have this option where nothing changes here it remains the same 
but if you go here and refresh uh, it's gone right so uh, you can you can use that okay now that's about uh, SSR and CSR in SwellKit I hope you understood the difference I'll see you in the next one thank you bye bye